Y'all, now we've got a thing called maskne. Like, as if the pandemic wasn't already enough, we have to now deal with our faces breaking out. Not that mine breaks out in any sense, but I am getting very extremely mother-loving dry, which overall, it's never a nice thing, but here we are. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be, we are going to be doing our makeup. Didn't mean to flip you off, but look at my broken nail. It wouldn't be me if I wouldn't have a broken nail. Anyways, my skin is very dry right now because I haven't applied any product. But for today's video, I will be doing a very lightweight, wearable, non-transferable, proof, smudge proof makeup to wear under your mask. Now, before we begin, I wanted to show you a little bit of the skincare that I always apply before wearing makeup. It has changed with time because wearing a mask is kind of uh, getting to my skin in a way where uh, my skin is very dry. I have little white heads, little black heads coming out of nowhere. And uh, I found myself indulging into more skincare rather than before the mask's time. So I will show you a little bit of what um, I use. And to begin, I just want to ask. And please answer it in the comments down below how many of you actually use toners because I'm just trying to see some with the world and how everything is going on I think toners are now a very necessary thing to do especially after wearing a mask for so many hours I mean everywhere we go now we need masks so a toner really sets the tone for your skin I introduced a toner to one of my friends. She's never used it before. She's always been scared of different products on her skin. And I said to her, girl, you need to wear some toner. You need to give your, your skin some toner because you will see the difference in your face, in your skin, once you apply that toner. I went out and I got her some toner. I got her some of my favorite cotton rounds. And I said, let me do the honors. I cleaned her skin with toner, y'all. The amount of grime, pollution, dirt, scum, everything that came out of that girl's skin. I was like, I was taking a back. Okay, I was taking a back. Because she never knew of toner. She never knew what it could do. She was always scared, like I said, of using so many products on her skin. So I said, try this. Look at me, I have dry skin. I don't break out. But because of wearing a mask, we are now going through a situation on our skin from here down. A lot of people are suffering from acne. A lot of people who are already suffer from acne are suffering even more. And it's also the kind of mask that you wear. So wearing a fabric mask may not be as safe as wearing the other mask that you should wear, but if you can double that up, if you can, you know, wear it in a way where it protects you from getting the virus and also your skin, then you go on and do it that as well because yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> I am going to start with Thayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel Aloe Formula in Rose Petal. So I've used this Rose Petal one for, I think, a year now, and it's been doing really well on my skin. It's been really helping with um, the more dry areas and this area here, which is now like filled with little white heads and little unnecessary black heads. Um, and I use the cotton infused, uh, the infused cotton rounds. These have jojoba in them. They feel so soft on the skin. And I like to compare these to the Shiseido, um, cotton squares. This is like a great dupe for it. I just go ahead and grab some on my cotton round. And I always like to do this before moisturizer. I know that people use it very differently, but I like to do this before my moisturizer just so I can press this into the skin and kind of leave it there before applying the actual moisturizer. And I like to just go up. I'm still, I'm cleaning the skin, but also kind of applying the product onto the skin because as I'm swiping up, I'm also pressing down. And I like to do that 
focus on this side of the skin this because that's where we always wear our mask obviously it covers that part the most then I just take whatever I have left put it on my forehead so this nasty mind you I already I already cleaned my skin I washed my face can you see that that is disgusting I mean the power of a toner really it just sets the tone for your skin for a moisturizer, if you guys didn't know, I love to use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. This one is my go-to. I love, love, love to use this stuff on my skin. I've used it, I use it daily, day and night. I just like to grab this amount for the skin and I go to town. I just apply it everywhere. So already with applying this kind of moisturizer, my skin feels so refreshed because that toner really did grab and grip onto the skin and helps for the moisturizer to do its job. Because you imagine just putting moisturizer in all those like expensive and really nice skincare products onto the skin and your skin is disgusting, like it's really not gonna do anything for you. And then for SPF, I like to use the Bear With Me Sunscreen Daily Moisturizing Primer with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil from NYX. This is my current go-to as well because it not only has SPF, but it works with or without makeup. So I like to use this as my primer, and I also use this daily for SPF reasons. Wait till the fucking truck passes by. I like to use this as um, SPF. It gives me a super natural glow to the point where it doesn't make my skin seem oily and it hydrates my skin really, really well because of that sativa seed oil in it. I just like to grab this size amount and I focus this more on the cheek area because that's really where I want to protect my skin from the sun because I do have rosacea going all around here. So I focus this on this side of the skin. You can see how glowy my skin is it looks super fresh very nice and hydrated that is the kind of feel and look that the uh, primer moisturizer gives you and I really love how glowy and hydrated my skin looks I'm gonna go ahead and fill my eyebrows using the NYX eyebrow powder pencil in ash brown mine is almost to its finish line I love 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 this product it gives my brow that powder natural finish without actually using it as a powder form it's in a pencil form which is like the best thing ever so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in but now that I finished my eyebrows I like to conceal the eyebrow and also use my Tarte Shape Tape as a eye base or eye primer because we are gonna be doing a little bit of eyeshadow since that will be the main focus of the look of the um, situation that we are trying to create <laughs> so i'm gonna conceal my eyebrow and i will be using my tart shape tape and i just like to go in with this uh nyx brush now this step is not necessary but it does elevate the look it does kind of give your eyes a little bit of mm when you're wearing the mask because at the end of the day that is really all people see is your eyes and I mean we now have to learn how to smile with our eyes so this step kind of just accentuates and kind of gives you that little lift that your skin needs okay what are we going to be using I wanted to use one of these but I don't know should we do the berries the nudes the chocolates or the violets <laughs> for the eyes i will be using the zoeva cafe eyeshadow palette this one is so pretty it's so neutral it has a little pop of green but something we can all work with i'm gonna just buff in this shade right over here this one is a shade nuanced history I'm just gonna buff that all over my eye To darken that a bit, I'm gonna be using this shade called Tasting Note right over here. I'm just gonna add that to the crease part just to darken it a little bit.
I'm gonna add this shade right here just to kind of darken that outer part of the eye. I'm gonna be using these two shades to kind of just put it on this side of the eye and matte it out a little bit. Now for the face portion of this look, it's very bare, very minimal. It's not a lot of makeup on, which is essentially the point of this whole video. I love this concealer. It's the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now this concealer is super, super lightweight. It can be worn all over the face or just under the eyes. In my opinion, I always use it under all over my face and it works just as well as a lightweight foundation would but for the sake of the video I will be using this all over the skin and adding just a tad bit of foundation to cover a little bit more of those imperfections that I have all over my face but this concealer this looks like a lot of concealer but because I will be blending this away I just spread it throughout the whole face and I use my, um, what is this? This is the e.l.f. sponge. I think it's called the Camel Camouflage something. E.l.f. Amazing sponge. I love, love, love. I've used this a couple of times and I like that it has not torn and I wash it vigorously with my bar soap. So $6 for a sponge that doesn't tear and applies your makeup heavenly. Girl. For a little bit more coverage, I'm going to be using the Tinted Skin Veil by NYX. This one is it's kind of like a skin tint, but you can control the coverage based on what you want from medium to full to bare. And I just like to apply a little bit here where I did not put concealer, just a small amount, and then go back in with the sponge and blend that out. little bit of contour action. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the shade Y505. It's a lot darker than my skin tone, but it's meant to be that way just so I can use it to contour and bronze up my skin a little bit. Now for setting the skin, I've been doing something differently lately, which has been really working for me, and I hope it can also work for you if you do try it. So what I've been doing is I've been setting my skin with um, translucent powder, which essentially can be any one. But what works for me is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. This one is by Shiate. And then I set my contour with bronzer. So instead of setting the whole face with translucent powder or with foundation powder, I set my under eyes with this a little bit some on all over the skin and then I use bronzer to set the contour areas just to enhance the contour that I already applied bronzer just kind of gives it that more flawless finish and then this powder also really works well because it's not drying and it really helps the skin look nice and lifted for blush I'm gonna be using the these two these are from Colourpop you guys seen me use this before, but this one is in the shade so retrograde, and then this one is in the shade My Sun and Stars. So I think you've guys seen me use this shade time and time again. I just love how it makes my skin look super, super refreshed, super blushy. Just gonna go in in between these two shades. So before I go in with mascara, I am going to be using my Morphe Setting Spray 
to really to set that foundation and everything else in we need that to stick we need longevity tea for the lips lip gloss canceled we're not we don't do lip gloss anymore we can't i mean unless you want to have all that shit in your face when you wear your mask so we've canceled them. we don't stick to the mats for lipstick i'm just gonna do something bare something nice neutral matte using the dazed and diffused blurring lipstick by nyx it's a long name this one is in the shade girls trip now i'm, I'm not gonna lie this lipstick might transfer but here we are right two kinds of mask here I have the usual clinical wannabe mask and then the fabric mask. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this lipstick might transfer, but here we go. This one is the usual mask. I always, I always use this mask whenever I'm going anywhere. It just covers the entire upper portion of my eyes, of my face, my eyes. See how it covers literally everything? Okay, so now, usually since everything is covered, I'm gonna move around and show you that this is proof. This is transfer proof, smudge proof, <laughs> makeup. Now I'm not gonna lie, if you're sweating this bitch, I don't, I don't, I don't hold any accountability if this does transfer. Okay, can't breathe with this. Let's see, huh? How you like that? Da -da -da. Na, na, na. Okay, I love that. We love that. Now this mask, it's 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 gonna happen. It's gonna transfer, but you know we're gonna give it a whirl. This is a little too big for my little head. What I like to do is I like to just cross it on my ear like this. Cross it. Okay. And then I look like a duck. We're just gonna fix that, and then I like to press. It's secure, so you gotta secure the mask too, not only the bag. And here you go. We're gonna get in there. This one is a bit smaller, more compact, but I still feel very fucking hot. <laughs> Ay, coronavirus, vete, no te quiero, no te aguanto, no te soporto. You can still see a little bit of that contour, a little bit of that highlight. The eyes are nice and opened, and now, Let's test it out. So, a little bit did transfer. You see how the difference is that it's gonna transfer with these masks because I guess the heat, the hot breath, when you breathe, when you do everything, you're gonna transfer some on here. But at least your face wasn't left on the mask, which I've seen happen. And let me tell you, that is not the play. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me try and create a wearable makeup routine for masks and i hope you try it and if you do try it let me know and if it worked out for you let me know as well and i really appreciate you guys being here thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so click the notification bell so you know when i post a video give this video a thumbs up comment share and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye